Hello fellow artists of all ages. Today we are going to begin our project of making our worry dolls inspired by the Guatemalan people of Central America. We are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month which runs all the way from September 15th all the way to October 15th celebrating all nationalities in the Central and South American regions and Guatemala is actually right below Mexico and it is very far from Bismarck and if you watched the little cartoon episode you learned that the worry dolls were made in order to stick under your pillow and put all your worries on them so they can take them away the next week or the next night because you slept on that. So we are going to focus on our own worry dolls and create our own out of paper. Today what we're going to do is we're going to paint our paper. So materials that you will need and you can always substitute these for crowns, markers, uh, colored pencils or any other types of paints you may have at home. So today I'm using watercolor paints but you are more than welcome to substitute that. I'm using a piece of blank paper. It's a pretty small piece. I have a pair of scissors. I have a stencil, but if you do not have that, you can always draw your character on your paper with a pencil and try your best. I also have a paper towel, a brush, and my water cup here. So as with the worry dolls, we're going to make our characters pretty bright and we're actually going to focus more on things that make us feel positive and happy instead of the things that we worry about. But like with the Guatemalan Quita uh, Peña dolls, we are going to create our own out of paper. I'm going to go ahead and use my stencil. I have a stencil of a girl here and my pencil. And I'm going to trace around. Now, again, if you don't have a stencil, you can draw this straight on your paper and that is okay. So I'm going to trace around my little image here and I'm going to make sure it's as neat as I can possibly make it. And then I'm going to pick up my stencil and there is my shape right there. Kind of hard to see from afar, but there you go. Almost like a gingerbread girl. And what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna start painting my shape. So our Quita Peña dolls or our Worry dolls from the video, if you noticed, are very bright. They were bright colors. And here you can take the opportunity to make some really bright colored clothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off here and I'm going to give myself a little neck. And I'm going to make a rainbow dress. So you can decorate yours however you want. If you want to wear pants, even if you're a girl, you can do that. You don't have to make your uh, character wear a dress. I just wanted mine to wear a dress for today. I'm going to put sleeves on mine. I like sleeves on my dress. And I'm making mine into a rainbow colored one. So I'm gonna take my time and paint in my doll. And again, I'm gonna try to make it rainbow. I'm gonna cut this out later. So if I get a little outside the lines, just take a deep breath, it's okay. We can work with that. But we're gonna go ahead and just keep going. Just keep going, just keep going. And see how colorful that dress is. You don't have to make your stuff as colorful as mine. You can even wear pants, you can wear Nike shoes, you can wear your favorite set of PJs, whatever you want to put on your worry doll here. Again, I wanted mine to be a rainbow because I think bright colors bring joy to me um, especially as an artist so i'm going to start this sorry grab the wrong color here but as i paint my clothes i'm also going to remember that i need to paint my face and my legs too so with that being said 
Let me finish painting this part of my dress here. It's a very dark purple, isn't it? All right. And you can put little designs on your clothes too. You don't just have to paint it. You can draw in it. You can do whatever. Um, I would just wait until it dries. And because I'm a pretty funky person, I like to wear my green boots with things because they're comfortable. So I'm going to paint some green shoes on there. And I also like to wear a lot of tights under my dresses. So after I'm done, painting my shoes on. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to give myself some black leggings because I wear black leggings under my dresses. Pretty silly, isn't it? And again, I'm going to try really hard to stay inside my lines, but if I get a little outside my lines, is it a big deal? No, as long as I'm trying my best, I'm sure this will turn out beautiful. And now I'm going to paint my skin color. I am a little tan, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint my face tan and my arms tan. I'm not going to put a face on mine right now because I'm going to wait until this dries to draw a face. And I'm a pretty tan person, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this head in. Now, I am missing something. I wonder what that is. I do have some pretty big curly hair and that is something I am missing in my doll. So I'm gonna go ahead, after I paint this arm in, I'm gonna put some hair on that bald head of mine. I don't wanna leave myself bald like that. So I'm gonna go in and I'm going to grab some black paint because I have some black curly hair and I'm going to add it onto my doll. And I have long hair. So black curly long hair. And that's what I'm going to add to my doll. Again, be careful. Try to be as neat as you can. And there's my curly hair there. I'm just painting it in all the way. All the way, all the way. There you go. And that is our first step, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to paint the inside of our little person here. And then we're going to set it aside to dry. So make sure you set this aside, and on the next video, I'll show you how to cut out our uh, image here and how to add a face, as well as how to put a little popsicle stick behind there so it looks more like a doll. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you have fun creating this. Have a wonderful time creating. Bye-bye.